Hello everybody, Steve here and today I got out my Master Lock collection again and put it out here so that we can look at another Master Lock. But uh, I also do have this number 19 on loan to me from Jay Gabriel. Thanks again Jay for loaning me this 19 and definitely, yeah I would love to add it to my collection but this is just a loaner. But yeah definitely this piece is definitely a lot bigger than anything else I have on here. So, anyway, that's kind of there. But uh, we are going to focus on this little master lock. And this is a master lock number 532. There we go. You can see the keyway there. And not too much... To see on this other than yeah you have the retaining pin there on that side there's the other side and there's the top and it does say hardened on the shackle and this little <coughs> master lock 532 here's the keys for it let's get a good look at that and there's the bidding on the keys see that I think it's a what is it five pin a yeah, five pin little lock and there working it actually works great very smooth lock very nice to have this one it is kind of a, a beast if you look at this compared to the number three yeah kind of a nice size for lock but it is pretty good so let's uh Let's pick this one open, shall we? So let's get zoomed in here. And <clears throat> just like all of our other master locks on this table, this Z bar works the best for this thing for some reason. I mean, this kind of keyway, the way it's flat like this, I'd love to use this top of the keyway wiper blade insert wrench. And it does work, fit in there great, but for some reason, like all these other nice master locks, this uh, Z-Bar tension wrench works the best. So we'll just put that in the bottom of the keyway. And <clears throat> we'll use this Jimmy Long's short hook with the flat tip. And we'll just uh, start at number one and work on our way back. And uh, the biggest trick with this one is, is just kind of working my way under the pins. But once I do, they set it pretty well, so usually doesn't take too much to get this lock open. So let's get started. Pin number one. And we'll get that. Work our way under pin number one. If I can get in there, work under it. Okay, there we go. Got that. Click on that one and see how that cord just turned. Let's get on pin number two. A little bit of counter rotation. <clears throat> There's pin two. Pin three. Work our way under that one. Just barely tapped it. Looks like that's set. Once I worked under it, then it set itself. So let's work under the next pin four if we can. There we go. Under that one. Nice click there, and we are open. That's all it took. A lot of really good feedback and the movement on the core and everything, but for just like the rest of these, this Z bar <laughs> and working our way underneath the pins with this thing, <clears throat> got this baby open. So there we have it. This is a master lock number 532 and and it is picked open so anyway thank you very much for watching make sure you leave a comment down below uh, make sure you leave a like and definitely subscribe and thank you very much for watching and have a wonderful day